Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Um, as I started the reading, I heard time is of the essence. Um, I'm reading for Aquarius. I'm reading for June, uh, but whenever it resonates, it's your reading. Uh, obviously, everybody's on a slightly different timeline. Um, so yeah, if it doesn't make sense right now, maybe come back to it a little bit later into June and just see if anything's kind of like ringing any bells. I do find when I do these predictive readings, when I do them, it doesn't make any sense. I could be like, I'm talking absolute nonsense. But uh, like, if I I come back to it it's like I can like things can I can say things in the video that are happening in real life like really coincidentally you know like I'll have forgotten what I've said and then I'll just be like oh something coffee and it's like just as I pick my coffee cup up or something like that so it's like very very I know that I'm predicting <laughs> like I know there's something to this right so it's like I have to have faith and I have to have trust which is like a theme that's been coming through you again if you kind of like you've got Capricorn placements or you're Capi Cusp maybe just go and watch their reading as well they had a lot about trust and respect and the reason why I'm saying that is because you've also got respect you've got one of the songs that I mentioned in Capricorn's reading so do go and check that out if needs be I do find you've got a bit of Pisces coming in as well and this always happens where like the neighboring energies like the neighboring signs will kind of filter into the reading a little bit because of course like you could have an Aquarius who's born mid-month or well, not mid-month because that would be the end of the Aquarius season but like you could have an, like an Aquarius who's like slap bang in the middle of Aries um, Aquarius season why am I saying Aries that could be something you could have an Aries who's like like just on the cusp of Capricorn you could have an Aries that's like, ugh, Aries why do I keep saying Aries I don't know there's something to that but you understand what I'm saying hopefully I'm gonna move on because I'm just making license now um yeah your reading seems very very straightforward like there's not a lot of complicated messages or anything like that it seems quite cut and dry which i could just be aquarius energy right king of swords it's like let's get down to business what needs to be said let's be efficient um and maybe you're short on time maybe you're gonna have a busy month in uh june and it's like just say what you need to say you know it's kind of like that energy um, I did feel when I first started tapping into your energy, I felt very, very low. I actually thought maybe there's some Aquarians who are maybe a little bit depressed or, you know, maybe just feeling very down in the dumps and maybe not very motivated. It's kind of like it was just a bit of a flat, like a sad, flat feeling. Um, I have been depressed, so I do know what depression feels like, and that's why I was kind of feeling like I feel a bit depressed. Um, and my guides said, oxytocin oxytocin now i might be getting my chemicals mix, mixed up and i haven't fact checked this but um what i was getting from this was there's a chemical isn't there that's released when it's called the love hormone i think it's oxytocin that's the love hormone it might be serotonin but i think serotonin is like the happy hormone and oxytocin is like the love hormone um, and i was so i was getting this kind of like love sick energy for you and then like love being the medicine love being the cure to whatever ails you i guess um yeah because oxytocin it's funny you've got actually because i get i channel my messages before I pull the cards and then you've got this cosmic womb divine feminine uh, so the root word womb and then this new beginnings which has this baby on the card so it's like something's being birthed for you in June it may actually because you've even got water it may literally be that your waters are breaking if you're pregnant um, I am getting a lot of uh, birth energy and birth symbolism so it's funny because the first time it happened um, quite soon after one of my friends said oh I've had my baby and I'm like ah! so it does feel like maybe it's just like springs in the air right it's just the season to be getting jiggy with it or something like that um so getting jiggy with it made me laugh because it came th uh, they had Mike Lowry in um Capricorn's reading like Mike Lowry who's Will Smith right so um yeah okay so then you've got this thing about what happens to our brain so it was almost like um, the, that Aquarius energy that's very analytical, it's very logical, sometimes it can be seen as a little bit cold and also, almost kind of like um, mechanical, like you, you tend to be much more of the thoughts. It does depend on your full chart, right? You could have soppy ass placements, like you could have like water sign, Mars, water sign, Venus, water sign, like, you know, you could be kept very, very... 
you could be an Aquarius who, like water sign moon, right? Like a very emotional Aquarius, right? Um, and some Aquarius are going to be a bit more swords energy. It does depend on your full chart. But Aquarius energy by itself is a very kind of like aloof, cold, analytical sign. Aquarius can sometimes feel like they're above emotions. Like emotions are kind of like icky and base and almost like caveman. It's like, oh no, I've evolved beyond basic emotions. Thank you, darling. <laughs> so that's kind of Aquarius energy by itself. Again, you as a person, and you as an individual watching this depending on your full chart you could have more or less of that um but um it came through almost like maybe Aquarius in June it's like you're giving yourself a like self-analysis kind of thing maybe you're going to a therapist maybe you are a therapist but it was coming through like okay why am I sad I'm sad because you know I need more love so um we can get, dive into that a little bit further in a minute but um it was like it was like the medical side of it, right? The medical side of depression, not just I'm sad because I miss that person. It was like, okay, what's happening to my brain? Like what chemicals are being released here or what chemicals are being missed, right? Because you had oxytocin. So it's like, it's like the, the cure is, it's like the cure is love. It's like knowing that the cure is, um, you know, human emotion, feelings, shared experiences. You know, I don't know, going out with friends, um, kissing your dog I was gonna say, I was seeing kissing a baby but I heard kissing your dog so I don't know maybe your dog's your baby <laughs> I don't know uh, you know like your dog like you know some people are like dog parents <laughs> that kind of thing um but yeah it was it it was quite sweet but it was very again it's very kind of like uh, kind of analytical and kind of, kind of scientific which is typical of Aquarius um it was making me think again of like Capricorn and Leo's readings I think particularly had this kind of um android kind of um you know AI robot evolving sentience kind of thing so it's almost like in that context it's something like um that's what's missing, right? That's what's missing. If you were trying to create the singularity, if you were trying to create a robot that was human, um, you would need them to uh, to have something that simulated the chemical or lack of the chemical oxytocin, right? It's like, that's the thing. Like the, need, the AI needs to experience love. They need to be like, the AI needs to pine for people. The AI... AI AI needs to miss people and miss the feeling like, you know, even this is like senses, right? That even this is like, um, you know, just senses because that's all nerves are, right? Senses that feel touch. It's like the AI needs to form attachments to people. Um, and interestingly enough, like I've been talking about that film Ex, um, Ex Machina and how the robot kind of evolves but doesn't feel love or like doesn't feel compassion. So it's like all those human emotions, like to get a true... Um, simulated person right for ai to truly become human which again was in capricorn's reading it would need to have those things like love and stuff right so yeah i don't know um but again for you aquarius and on a personal level it's, it just feels like um maybe going through maybe going through the motions right maybe being a little you know, maybe a bit depressed or just feeling very, very flat, right? Like there's no joy in life. You're just going through the motions. You just, it's almost like you've become robotic. It's like you go to work, you brush your teeth, you eat your meal because it's time to eat your meal, right? And it's like, maybe what you're missing is human connection. Maybe what you're missing is, um, it could be a specific person, right? Uh, for some of you, it's definitely coming through with baby energy. So, you know, like the, the mother hormone, the love hormone, like it really, you know, when the mother feels it, they release the milk kind of thing. So it's like the letdown reflex. Yeah, sorry, that came in into my ear. Um, so it could be something like that. It's like, um, you know, and it could be a specific person. So perhaps, um, you know, a loved one that you're distant from, perhaps, um, I did get this feeling of like Aquarius going through a separation at one point, you know, like a trial period separation kind of thing with the partner, or maybe like somebody's partner's working away. And so it's this kind of eight of cups energy of something's missing. You know, I'm longing for something, I'm pining for something, something's missing. Um, and it could just be that you don't have, you know, maybe you don't have good connections with your family for some of you. Um, maybe it's not even you maybe it's somebody around you right somebody around you who's kind of just um it's like the the life's on autopilot or something like that it could be um 
yeah so it really confirmed to me because this was really coming through i was getting diamonds a lot as well i keep on getting references to diamonds um but um i'll come back to that so um it was really confirmed for me because the next song that played was a little respect by erasia right so it says um i'm so in love with you right i'm so in love with you i love that song so much um and it's like I don't know it's almost like a feeling of joy like it's a feeling of joy to feel something right to feel love again like uh, it's like this is yes this is what i need or something like that um and he says i need a little something to make me sweeter right so again if somebody's gone a little bit a little bit ice king which has been coming through again libra's reading had like ice queen ice king um and then like the fire queen or king which kind of came through in sagittarius's reading as well um if you want to go and look at those if you're dealing with a sagittarius or a libra or you've got those placements definitely kind of point you in that direction but yeah it was like um what popped out to me in i'm so in love with you is the word so really makes the difference because you know i'm in love with you it's like i love you i'm in love with you it's like almost like we hear this all the time right you know you can tell your dog i love you i love you or like you know you could tell um you know a, a friend you'd be like right see you later love you bye you know it's almost like throw away but to say i'm so in love with you it makes a difference right um and maybe that's what it is love makes the difference like real love like that kind of um that kind of feeling that kind of pining like i need you kind of love um like the depth of it but so also like the word so also gave me like significant other so again somebody could be at a distance from the significant other and this is like this pining sensation um and then it says soul i hear you calling um and so this brought me back to diamonds because early in the day well actually a couple of times that diamond song by rihanna's played and i think there was another song that mentioned diamonds um and diamonds to me in my reading um talk about the soul right so it's almost like the the container of the soul if you want to imagine this as a metaphor so the soul to me is like a brilliant pure white light right this is how i envision the soul this is how my guides taught to me the soul is like pure white light and then the the diamond is like the container of the soul and it's like when you turn it the light changes color and you see a lot of different facets so it talks about how people have a lot of different um you know how people um act differently in different situations and things like that it's like the facets of the soul it's the the complexity of the soul and it's very very beautiful right if you imagine a if you imagine a diamond with a, a light inside it and it's just shining those rainbow colors outwards very beautiful metaphor for the soul so it's like it's it's like two matching diamonds is the way it's coming through with diamond diamonds by rihanna it's like two two souls that are shining to each other like it's, it's coming through very, very beautiful. So you may feel like you found your soulmate or you're looking for a soulmate or a soulmate connection. Again, it doesn't have to be romantic. This can be like, you know, soul family, soul tribe. So a very, very significant friend, right? Significant other, like a special person. It could be your own child. You know, it's like a soul meeting another soul and recognizing it. So it feels really good. And it says, the words that stood out to me from this song were, I choose to be happy. I choose to be happy. So it's like choosing love, right? It's like, it might not be the logical choice, but it's what's going to make you happy. So it's like, do you want to be a robot? Do you want to live your life in a logical way? Or do you want to feel flat, right? Feel like your personality has been switched off? Or do you want to feel right and do you want that love which is the thing that's missing is the way it's coming through i don't want to convince anyone of anything right if you want to you know it's up to you how you live your life but this idea of choice i choose to be happy i choose love um when you hold me i'm alive at first sight i felt the energy of sun's rays so again like it's like two souls shining to each other because again it's like meeting someone and feeling the energy of the sun's rays it's like this person lights you up, this person makes your soul shine, or you see this person's soul shining, it's very cool. Um, and then back to um, a little respect. So again, it was like Capricorns were kind of asking for respect. It was like, um, just give me a little bit of respect kind of thing. I don't know. So go and check out their reading if that makes any sense. But um, in that song it says what religion or reason could cause a man to forsake his lover so again like 
this idea of reason, right? Logic and reason. What reason could cause a man to say no to love or a woman to, or a person to say no to love? Like, why would you, why would you choose to sit in the eight of cups energy when you could have the 10 of cups energy? It doesn't make sense, right? And this is the idea. It doesn't make sense. What makes sense is to feel. So the idea of what being logical being logical and making logical choices, but those logical choices not making sense. Do you see what I mean? There's a conflict of logic. Um, um, so I had this feeling of like maybe pride getting in the way. So again, going back to Cappy, this idea of like a little respect. It's like loving someone, but it's almost like having an ego. Again, maybe this is why Leo energy was coming. It's like the ego, the pride getting in the way. You know, it's almost like I want them to come to me or something like that. I don't know. Um, I was kind of thinking as well with like the respect thing. This could be somebody in a senior position in some sort of way. So like boss energy, especially because it was coming through with that Capricorn reading, which again was really confirmed to me. It was almost like the universe was saying, yes, yes, it's this thing about like the boss energy because the song came, that came on next was run the show as i was thinking this by cat de luna um so somebody could be called cat katie Catherine, katrina um cats could be something uh de luna the some moon energy um but yeah it was really confirmation run the show boss energy right um then move your body played and the, the significance of this was a two levels so one thing was it was written by Sia and I just previously learned earlier in the day that Diamonds was written by Sia and she was originally planning on singing it herself I think she'd recorded herself I, I think she'd recorded um her her version of it um when it got um offered to Rihanna um and Rihanna kind of like took the song so um and of course it's a brilliant song of Rihanna's like, I can't imagine anyone else singing that song at the moment. However, I can imagine Sia singing, right? It does sound like a Sia song. So um, something about giving credit to, giving credit where credit's due or something like that. It's like, um, you know, somebody who's, um, it's not coming through like a bad thing. It's not coming through like a, like anyone's stolen anyone's stuff or anything like that. It's more like um, somebody getting the credit for, like somebody getting credit for all the work when um, there was another significant contribution. Again, this idea of significant other, right? So it could be like starting a business with your partner and, you know, one person's a spokesman, so they get all the credit. But, you know, the other partner's like doing a lot of hard work behind the scenes, but because they're not the public face, they don't get the recognition, something like that. Um... And then Papa Don't Preach by Madonna. So it's interesting because you are getting this birth analogy, right? So again, it's it could be that somebody's in a situation where perhaps they're going against the family wishes. Again, it's like this idea of like, I'm choosing my baby, right? I'm choosing my baby. So it could be somebody's choosing to keep a baby, even though the family are perhaps saying, is this a good idea? Are you sure you're ready? You know, how's this going to impact your career and your finances? So it does seem like there's going to be Again, it's like it doesn't seem logical to choose the love option, but it does seem to be a solid choice that somebody's maybe making. It's like I've made up my mind, I'm choosing my baby, right? Because I know this is what I need in my life, right? I know this is what's missing. Um, again, I'm a tarot card reader. I can't tell anyone what to do. And having a baby is a really big decision. So do make sure you weigh up all the facts, get full information, get information from a variety of sources, you know, family, doctor, you know, a variety of like family advice centers because there's different ones that advise different things. You know, make sure you've got all the facts. And being an Aquarius, I probably don't need to tell you that. You probably already do know the facts. You probably wrote the fact, you know, the leaflet with the facts in. Uh, but yeah, that's there for you. Um, yeah, you had Come Out and Play by Billie Eilish. I promise you it's worth it to show them everything you've kept inside. And they showed me a leaky tap. So this idea, it's interesting you've ended up with water as well. It's like, um, it's something about controlling the flow of emotions, right? A leaky tap. So it's almost like, um, like, like the emotions are dripping out kind of thing. It's like, it's okay to show it's okay to show these feelings. It's okay to show these emotions. Again, being that kind of like ice king energy and don't worry about gender. It's, you're the king of swords in the tarot. Aquarius is king of swords. It's like, um, it's got this melting feeling. Uh, again, going back to Libra's reading, they have like the ice queen because they're the 
queen of swords but again just don't worry about the gender it's the energy of the card um so like they had this thing about um you know being so close to somebody that was so hot that they melted you know and they became the queen of cups instead and so again you have this feeling of like thawing out so again it could be maybe you had a breakup maybe you've just been maybe you just um, like my dad's side of the family there's a, actually quite a bit of air <laughs> in uh, air and earth in that side of the family so it's not like showy displays of affection it's not all hugs and kisses it's very kind of like let's have a chat <laughs> um, and then those chats are quite quite few and far between you know everybody's quite independent um being a lot of air energy so um and it comes across sometimes as a bit standoffish uh but it's just the way it's just the way everybody is in that side of the family kind of thing so um not everybody actually not everybody um so yeah it's like um i don't know it could be you know you know maybe you come from a family or you know maybe this is like a work situation or a friendship group it's like you're not you're not squishy with each other right you're not kind of the touchy-feely let's share our emotions type you're more like let's get on with things how's it going what can i help you out with maybe it's just a bit more of a logical environment uh but again it's like it's okay to show emotion it's like nobody's going to think badly of you or something so it's like let it out a few drips at a time turn the tap on slowly something like that um and the line too shy to say came through uh so too shy to say there's this uh, in your underlying you've got this like this going on so the curse next to the nine of wands so it's almost like the curse is keeping this inside right because the nine of wands talks about um it's the wounded warrior it's somebody who's been carrying a burden for a very long time right and so it's like carrying this curse carrying this burden which perhaps is the inability to express emotions you know maybe this is like i just can't find the words um or the words don't with the, the thing about i'm so in love with you it's like it could be like um you know just one word makes all the difference kind of thing in expression because it could be like i love you and they're like love you too bye and it's like they don't realize that you're saying no i i deeply love you it's like the words aren't conveying the emotion or something like that there's something about the curse of not being able to express something um it's like and again it's like wounded warrior which is like not giving up as well it's like persevering and not giving up and then what was on the bottom of the deck? Uh, so I was just moving the decks around and from the bottom of the deck, this fell, which is the Ace of Cups, right? This this love energy, this, like, it's like, a, not a handout, like I'm giving you a handout, but this um, putting your hand out and making a connection with somebody, right? It's like, it's like, I've got this, I've got this love for you. I've got these feelings for you. I've got this affection for you, or I have this, I have this cup, right? I have this cup of love that I want to share with somebody, but I don't have anyone to share it with. Um, it could be something like that, right? I have emotions. I'm not a robot. I'm not a robot. What's that? I feel like that's a meme. I'm just going to put that to one side. Um, yeah, so it's interesting. And then um, well, maybe somebody's saying to you, maybe this is the hand, come out and play. Come out and spend some time with me. Let's see how this goes. Kind of, let's go and get a cup of coffee. I've just got my coffee, so it's like a prop. <laughs> I've got my coffee. Um, you also had You Don't Own Me by Say Grace. Um, it's And it was funny to me. It's like, it was almost looking to me like um, there's some kind of parent-child dynamic coming through a couple of times in the reading. So this was almost looking to me like someone who was like maybe brought up in a certain um religion or culture right it's like say grace you know say grace when you're eating your dinner something like that and it's almost like this refusal it's almost like no i'm not saying it i can't say it maybe it's something like um so it's almost like a challenge right it's almost like a challenge to the status quo a challenge to the the expected um rules of a group something like that the curse of something ancestral about it um okay you've also got with that as well like confidence so again it's like the confidence to the confidence to speak the confidence to say what you've had inside um you know finding that um yeah i think that's kind of it for the underlying underneath that is freedom as well you've also got this balancing act card that's come out quite a few times um in the readings so again it's like 
slow and steady as you go kind of thing you've also got for look and right timing and limitless possibility this is a very very aquarian card to me um stars in the sky right it's like um that feels like um when it's the right time there's all this like untapped potential right there's this it's like the world jewelry store or something like that is coming through with that um okay i'm actually going to pause just have a bit of my coffee and then we'll kind of get into your cards oh no before i do before i do for some of you it's not going to be for everyone it was like a side message it was just some songs that i was listening to and i was kind of like walking home from dropping my kid off at school um there was um two songs back to back and it gave me this feeling of like someone's met the match so it was like uh because you are a very independent energy this might be for people who have venus aquarius um because venus aquarius is or venus gemini as well is quite um quite independent it's quite um i don't want to be tied down i don't want to feel constrained i like my freedom um, I, you know, and sometimes Aquarius energy can be quite, it's kind of like a group mentality. So it's not necessarily like sometimes one-on-one, -on -one, you know, if I get what I'm saying, right? Sometimes it's like some Aquarians are quite liberal. <laughs> so uh, if you've got a Aquarius Venus placement, maybe this is for you, but um, the first song that played was an Eagles song. And it was the one where he's like, I've got i've got seven women on my mind right so it's like i've got seven women on my mind one who says she's a friend of mine so it's like this friend of mine is maybe like a hookup kind of thing but very kind of like um maybe it's kind of like not emotional you know it's maybe it is just like a um you know friends who friends who woohoo kind of situation you know um so uh it could be that but he's saying i'm looking for i'm looking for a lover who won't blow my cover and then the next song that came on was because obviously that's a guy and then the next song that came on was kesha so it doesn't have to be a guy and a girl it just but because it was i think what my guides were telling me because the gender changed it felt more like two people where if it had been another guy i would have been like oh this guy's a player right but it was almost like no this is an equivalent <laughs> it's the way it came through so it's not about the gender your personal gender is just my guide's way of communicating that this was two different people yeah boots by kesha where she's saying um i've got a guy in every town right so it does feel like a very friendly a friendly relationship where a certain needs met right and maybe that is going to work for somebody this kind of like no strings attached um we're both, you know, we both like to keep our options open. It could be something like that. And again, different strokes for different folks. Not, not judging anyone's lifestyle choices here. Uh, but however, your personal life choice as the viewer, you know, you choose what suits you. And obviously don't get into a relationship with a player if you're looking for a soulmate because you're just going to get your heart broken. You're setting yourself up to fail, right? It's like, I don't know. You've got to take people for what they are, I think. Um, and if they don't match you, then keep looking <laughs> um so yeah um your reading starts okay you're reading I need more coffee hold hold on that Billy Eilish song says wake up and smell the coffee is your cup half full or empty my cup my coffee cup is always half full it's like I kind of wish I had one of those cups you know those they like auto fill like a magic cup it's like constantly full of hot coffee that would be amazing okay so transformation and destiny so something could be transforming for you you could be transforming right this idea of like um capricorn had this thing about receiving an upgrade <laughs> i don't know it's quite why it's coming through so robotic at the moment but it's like um it was like the new and improved you in that reading and i feel like there could be something similar for you it's like like maybe a makeover right maybe I don't know, getting a haircut, getting a new, some new clothes, feeling fantastic, because the way it's looking for me is like, <laughs> can you see how they've both got the head at the same angle? It's almost looking to me like somebody like posing, you know, like finding their angle, like, you know, like, no, or like, you know, knowing that they're being watched, knowing that they're being viewed, knowing that they look good, you know, it's almost like, <laughs> yes, view me. Again, somebody could have Leo placements. It's interesting that Aquarius and Leo are like, um opposing 
nodes, right? They're kind of like opposite each other. So this could be like a North Node, South Node thing. I don't know. But it feel, feels very Leo, like, yes, view me. I am perfection. I have arrived. <laughs> it's the way it's coming through. It's like, you know, all eyes are on me. And it's coming through with like big energy, like big, powerful, slamming the door open, walking into the room. Everybody's looking at you. You pose, you strike a pose. Do, 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 strike a pose. Oh uh, yeah, it's kind of like throwing your hair back. <laughs> like it was like that um like 80s commercial, like, like you just stepped out of a salon, salon selectives. Yeah, so it's like that kind of energy. But then it's like I feel like trying to impress a certain person. So it's not gonna be for everybody, but if it resonates, take it. This is how it looks to me. And again, this could be flip and reverse it. Queries, you could just be like sat there typing and someone walks into the office flipping their hair and you're like, oh hi, you've arrived. <laughs> it's like somebody really wants, somebody who's feeling very, very confident, right? Feel, ooh, <laughs> feeling really confident, feeling like, and dragons to me talk about shadow energy as well. So this could be like a Lilith placement, a North South, no, maybe South Node placement or um, Moon placement. Uh, just because it's coming through with a bit of sh a bit of shadow, so maybe a bit of ego here, especially with the Leo energy, right? A little bit of ego, a little bit of an attention-seeking need to be like, look at me, look at me, look how fabulous I am. Tell me, give me compliments, you know, compliment fishing. So it is looking like that, but maybe trying to impress a specific person because the way it's looking to me is like <laughs> the way it's looking to me is like if I put these two cards together. So it's like this person's like, they walked into the room, right? And so I am see this person in the background here. So it's like, you know, hawk, I have arrived. Because it's something to do with like the wings. You see how like the wings are kind of like feathery. So I'm seeing that as the same energy. And then it's like, this is the person who's just kind of like typing away at the computer, minding their own business. So it's almost like, but they're actually dwarfed. It's like, although this person's confidence is making them appear like in their, in their own mind to be really impressive it's like they are their personality their presence their confidence is dwarfed when this person's in the room right it's like it make it's almost like this person makes that person feel small like they could be they could be the center of attention they could be the hottest thing everywhere else but when they meet that spe like maybe somebody they've got a crush on right it's like they make them feel small <laughs> because and again flip it and reverse it i don't know who you are it's two people coming through but i'll i'll let you decide who you are <laughs> um but yeah so again this was really confirmed by this card because like look at the size difference so it's more like this right so it's like um this person's the person who's just kind of like sat there typing away and then this person's come in like the, I, like, I'm the hottest thing you know I'm the what is it the hottest thing since sliced bread I don't know I don't know if that makes any sense but then they come into the room with this person and this person's presence is overwhelmingly big this person's presence is so it just dwarfs them is the way I'm coming through like it dwarfs them um, and there's something as well about these two, right? Can you see, it's like, put it like that, right? So it's like, although this person feels like, so, like it's like this person feels like this. Do you see how I mean? It's like, this person feels like, look at me, like flicking the hair, kind of like holding the pose while someone takes a picture. But it's like, they walk into the room with this person, it's like suddenly they feel like this, you know, compared to this person who feels so much more, too... too to whoever this person is, this other person feels so much more impressive. But it's something like... I know there's something very loving, right? Because it's messenger of water, so it's like a message of love. You know, so it could even be that it... You know, this person, the, the bigger person, right? The, so this is looking to me like the feminine. The, the feminine is like... You, you know, you look great today you look so hot today or like, you know, I'm so glad you've arrived. It's almost like paying a compliment or saying something nice, but in a very gentle way. It's coming through as very soothing, very gentle, actually very calming. Um, it's almost nurturing. And so if this person was, the smaller person was kind of like looking for attention, maybe it's like mother issues or something. I don't know. Cause it's coming through the, like the masculine, like they're looking for, they're looking for validation. Right. And it's like to get validation from this person, it just, it makes them perhaps feel very humbled and like very not put in their place, but like, 
like the feeling because it's all water right it's like the feeling of love from this person or validation or compliments from this person just it's like it, it more than fulfills them right so if they come in with this need to be seen this need for it's kind of like something like um you know you could say you're in a school right say you're in a school and you had a massive crush on someone and it's like they just like you dream about them they just seem like perfection it's like if this person just noticed me it's like if this person just kind of like looked my way it would make my day kind of thing if this person acknowledged my existence so it's like somebody who perhaps has um maybe a fragile ego like fragile confidence who you know in that entire school it's like normally they're the they're the, you know they're the captain of the football team kind of thing it's like normally everybody's fawning over them you know it's like they're just getting all this attention but because and it's like every single bit, every time someone pays them a compliment, it's like a little drop. It's like a little drop in their cup, right? But when this per this person pays them a compliment, it's like the whole tap's on, right? It's like this massive, it's like, so it, it's like, say as a metaphor, you know, you have a cup, right? And it's like your, your needs, right? Your emotional needs require that cup to be full every day. But if you're just going around getting like drops from everybody, you know, everybody's like, okay, yeah, I'll share my drink with you. Here's a, here's a thimble full. It's going to take a long time to fill up that cup. Where if the special person, right, the person that you think is, it's like their opinion matters, right? Like if they compliment you, it's, it's just like your entire cup is filled up all at once and it's overflowing because they have so much. It's like they have so much of this love energy it's like they're overflowing with it they have a they are like love itself they are have an abundance of it so it's like they to them it could just be a compliment to them it could just be a small drop but to you because you can do it like smaller and again saying you just flip it and reverse it this could be the, the way somebody views you aquarius it's like oh my god i got aquarius's attention it's like ah oh. so to them it's like this is just do you see what i mean it's like can you see because they've got this ball it's like to them it's just you know one small part of what they are you know it's easy for this person to pay this person a compliment but to this person it's just like spadoosh <laughs> you know like ah oh, overwhelmed um so but not in a bad way in a way that brings a lot of peace and satisfaction and comfort but there's something as well about this person where and again that the, the reason why this one's coming through is more feminine is because this one looks a bit more just the pose looks a bit more masculine to me again i don't want to kind of like genderized too much the reading i think it's just telling me person a and person b but to me person b looks a little bit more feminine a little bit more co coquettish because because they're coming through with all this white energy right crystal divine feminine where the masculine is coming through a bit like kylo ren and ray right that's been coming up a few times like they're coming through like the, the dragon and the darker dragon so it's just showing me two different people right so it's like um let me just check the time sorry because i am actually on a time limit today so it's looking to me like um you know the idea of like the diamond with the the diamond with the light inside right it's, it's like this is this is who they are this is their energy you know this is how you you perhaps perceive them or they perceive you if this is you so it's like this it's like they're so beautiful and they're so magical and they just ooze this almost like earth goddess energy you know there's something just magical about them and they could be the plainest person to everyone else they could be the plainest most average person but to you they're magical and i want to say it's because of this two diamonds meeting soul connection but they are looking through as very coquettish so if you look at these images right it's like they've got the head turned to the side it's like it's almost like who me you want to take me to the prom oh it's so shy so it's coming through shy and again i don't know who's who um but again they also look like they're posing <laughs> there's something about this right it's like if this person's kind of like center of attention flipping the hair back this person's kind of like looking all kind of like princess diana like who me oh, i can't believe you noticed little old me so again very coquettish right so it's something about but the very pose this is looking to me like the pose right it's like the arm out the right way you know making sucking the tummy in kind of like making himself look long like the posing for a photo you know like 
you know they've got the hip jutted to the side they've got the neck turned sticking the chest out they're like hand so instead of like hand in a natural resting position it's like the hands just kind of like delicately delicately placed down so they look very 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 posed and very coquettish again i feel like it's almost like they've been waiting for this person to notice them <laughs> i'm just actually going to pause a second hold on okay so it's looking to me as well like like because there's something hidden so if I show you on these two cards, like you can, you see, it's like almost like the the back arm is actually here. But when I put it with these two cards, it almost looks like you see how like the shoulders here. It's almost like the, the the other arm is back here. And so what you can see happening on this card is like they're actually kind of dropping something. So it's almost like um. So here as well, it's almost like you know, like the arm is off to one side almost. So it's looking to me like. Like this person kind of like hides the phone so it's almost like maybe they were looking at something on the phone but they don't want you to see what they were looking at so it's like maybe they're texting the boyfriend so they just kind of like put their phone down and like oh yeah i'm single hi <laughs> you know or it's like um it's also coming through to me like if you were a parent so again it doesn't have to be romantic so another situation was like dad bursting in the room like i am the greatest father i have got us all tickets to disneyland look at me or like dad has a promotion or like you know something like that it's like dad bursting into the room in a really good mood and being like ha, 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 dad has arrived home it doesn't have to be dad as well it could be feminine just switch out the gender as you need to but that's how it's looking to me like everybody praise me i have arrived but then it's always like the kid was like maybe on the phone looking at porn <laughs> i don't know how old the kid is it's like or maybe the, the kid's looking at something that they think oh god I, like i hope dad doesn't catch me looking at this or it's like they've got a chocolate bar you know that they, they've snuck a cookie or a chocolate bar out the kitchen so like dad bursts into the room and they go oh, you know i wasn't act natural you know that meme act natural like normal <laughs> it's like i wasn't doing anything but like secretly kind of like just dropping you're like dropping something down the side of the couch, like, you know, hiding something behind the cushion. It's looking like that. I wasn't doing anything. I'm sweet and innocent. But then that seems to me just not like it's anything really bad, not like it's anything, because there was this thing coming through in a few of the readings, like, show me your hands, right? I haven't got anything in my hands because it's down the back of the cushion. Um, I actually had a reason, reading where it's like, look down the back of your cushions as well. So that could be something for somebody in June, just bear that in mind, right? But it was seeming like, it was seeming sweet. It was actually coming through as like, it was something sweet. So it's because this person doesn't want to get in trouble or because this person's, um, you know, then maybe not even doing anything that is that wrong you know it's it is something sweet like they stole one cookie out of the kitchen but it's like they think it's really bad right they think they've, they've committed this massive crime like and they're just like and you're just like it's really sweet that it's like their reaction is the thing that's sweet the fact that they you know try to hide it you know and they're, they're acting all kind of like sweet and innocent like and they're nice about it right it's 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 i think it's flattering that they reacted is the way it's coming through it's like it's flattering to the person who's kind of like i'm the center of attention you know because they think so highly of this person it's like flattering that this person would um be a little bit flustered in their presence something like that it's like oh I saw that. I saw you blush. I saw you fumble. It's, it's something a little bit like that. So then there is something about the swan, right? Because this card has kept showing itself, the swan card. So since I did Capricorn's reading, I tidied up the cards. This was on the underlying. I pulled a few cards for myself, put the cards away again. The swan was back. So I feel like the swan is for you. Um, and then this white feather was just on my table. <laughs> like when it came to do the reading, it was just like nothing on the table and just like white feather. Like the angels were here while you were gone. The, the white swan came in and the song... Um, flash by cigarettes after sex as well which says you're the white swan in my photograph so it's like and again it's like you're the white swan so there's only one white swan and it's either you Aquarius or this person it depends who's who in the reading so it's coming through as this person who is very pure if you think about like the black swan the film right so the the other side would be the white swan the purity the innocence the um the sweetness of this person something like that so um again it's like in the in your photograph it could be that you put, admired this person maybe like it's like a school photo and this person's just there's something magical about them you know it's like they're the white swan for you so um yeah it's coming through really nice actually that this person is very very 
there's just something really yummy about this person's energy. I just saw 4404 on the timestamp. So it's like this person's very peaceful, they're very loving, they're very nurturing, they're very calm, right? There's something really just, it feels like safe and it's like their energy just feels good. You know, their energy is like you feel comfortable with them or something like that or maybe they are very peaceful right they calm you down or something there's just something really like homely and pleasant about their energy like it just feels very very nice maybe they're a very peaceful person you know so it could even be something like um when this person experiences um disappointments because the five of earth typically means feeling shut out um it can be like loss of money it can be uh, situations where you feel like the door's been closed to you or you know you've been rejected it could be like financial rejection it tends to be not emotional it tends to be things so you know getting passed over for promotion something like that it's almost like this person lets it go easily is the way it's coming through it's like this person's very it's like they've got a really nice way of dealing with bad situations you know when when they feel it's like FOMO sometimes this card it's like when they feel like FOMO um they're very good at just kind of like letting it slide you know being at peace with um situations where they feel like they've missed out or they've lost out they just have a very it's like you've got to say grace right it's like they've got a very graceful way of um letting things go and moving on because they also have this card here as well this and again like the idea of the white swan right white bird i actually saw a white i think it was like a white pigeon um flying across when i was which i've not it's unusual for me to see in this area which is what kind of like drew my attention to this card quite a lot so dove spirit be peace this person feels very like peaceful to you because you've got peace twice right they could be a very peaceful person um they could be it just feels like just very gentle and very um at peace with disappointments and things in their life um and then you go to kind of this new beginnings lower word world on water so again somebody could be giving birth right it's like the the, the lower world the waters drop <laughs> you know the fairy godmother heralds the new joyous news of a new baby or the birth of a cherished idea protect and nurture your ideas as you would a baby so it could be a baby for somebody maybe somebody's finding out they're pregnant so again it was looking to me like perhaps if this is a relationship it's like the guy like bursts into the room like i got a promotion and like the woman's hiding the pregnancy test it's like she's just peed on the stick and she was waiting for it to change color and she's like oh congratulations it's like i'll let them have their moment i'll let them have the moment we can break this news to them later it could be something like that um but again it could just be some kind of idea some kind of concept some kind of project some kind of uh it feels like there's emotions right because it's coming through with the ace of water so it's like this new this new emotion and there's a lot of i think you have this thing about a cold glass of water in your last reading it's like it's refreshing but it's like emotionally refreshing right it's like um emotionally refreshing and there's plenty of it so if you imagine kind of like being very very thirsty maybe like going through a heat wave um uh, but it's like don't worry the ice the the spare freezer's full of ice pops you know we've got loads of bottled water the you know the paddling pool's full like we're gonna be all right you know it's like you don't have to worry there's more than enough emotion like and it, it's this refreshing cool peaceful emotion so it feels really good and it was looking to me again about this idea of like a tap or something dripping again maybe somebody's giving birth it's like oh it's getting a bit wet down there <laughs> oh no the flood's coming um but it's like something to do with like because it's like this so it's looking to me like again it's like this person puts a drop in your cup or something because it looks like they're dropping something right and it's like what they're dropping is this water so it could be tears as well it could be somebody crying but it's looking like uh, they're dropping they're dropping an emotion and then it's like trickling down into because you've got lots of dragons in your reading you've got one two three four five dragon cards out of however many cards it's oh and and this one as well so it could be like somebody somebody getting thrown off their balance or something like that because this card came out um and when i combined all the cards and kind of like redid it it fell off the table which tells me it's not part of the reading but it's it 
it's, it's something to be acknowledged, but it's not part of the overall spread, right? So I've just put it off to one side. So an, an imbalance or a, um, I'm not sure. I don't, I'm, I don't 100% know, but like I say, but a lot of dragon cards and dragons to me talk about your shadow, right? Your anima, your animus, your shadow, your hidden self. And with it being like the lower world, it's looking to me like, um, an emotion, right? A drop of emotion. And it could just be a compliment, but it's having a big impact on somebody's self-esteem, perhaps somebody's, um, it's almost like, uh, the medicine, right? Like this love, this compliment, this, um, affection this new relationship again it could be a baby right the the new relationships that's formed when you have a baby it's like there's something very very healing about it because it's almost looking to me like uh the cure for what ails you right it's like the the water's trickling down into the shadow is the way it's coming through and it's, it's having a transformative effect on somebody's shadow and i want to say it's something to do with like ego right especially because you're aquarius you're other your opposite's leo so self-confidence, self-worth, um, attachment issues, uh, neediness, um, anything like that. It's like when getting validation off this person, and again, this person could be you, you could be the person needing the validation. Um, it does seem to be having a very a cooling effect, right? It's like this soothing, soothing effect on the shadow. So again, it's something like, you know, um, when a person needs attention, the they might be very loud, they might be very attention seeking, but it's like when they get the compliment from the person that they need the compliment from, it's like they settle down and they get kind of get a bit quieter and they get a smile on the face. Something like that, but it's having quite a profound healing thing. I've got a fan outside my window. <laughs> I'm just gonna pause while it finishes what it's doing. Okay, so again, it could be short on time this month. I do need to wrap up this reading. I'm gonna get you um a card for my own deck. Uh, like I said, the swarm was showing, but I didn't actually shuffle for the reading. Um, so let's see what they have to tell you. Uh, the owl. So there's some kind of wisdom or knowledge of the book as well. It's like looking a book, right? Looking a book. Um, I want to say there is some kind of uh, possible that is scripture or uh, sacred knowledge or um, f it could be facts, right? It could be like you have some factual knowledge that could come into play in June uh but yeah it's like the book and the owl it could be write down what you know share what you know um pass it on um and I want to get you a song as well and then I have to, sh to kind of dart off um so Boots is currently playing by Kesha let's get you another song so what's what what's the most meaningful thing to come out for Aquarius now, what's going to have the most impact? What's going to do the greatest good? Do more on the oh, I Samsung. keep getting those Samsung adverts. Maybe someone needs to get a Samsung or they're getting a Samsung. I have a Samsung, but it's, it seems to be coming through like a theme. Uh, so it's snow. I have to shut Spotify and reopen it and then I'll be able to see what, um, what um, song it was. So Snow by Emily Moore. It doesn't have the lyrics, so I'm going to have to Google it. Snow, Emily... Emily Moore. <laughs> no, that's not what I said. I did mean the thing that I typed, yes. Uh, here we go. It's on Genius. Uh, winter is here and I'm hoping you'll say Merry Christmas. Somebody else had that. I feel like it was Libra, but I'm not 100% sure. They had this kind of like, I'll be home for Christmas energy or something like that. Winter is here and I'm hoping you'll say Merry Christmas. You didn't last year and it kills me to think you would miss this. Lights on the tree, cards that say what we mean. Every inch of my skin reminiscing. I wish we could go back and do what we started. I wish for you when it gets cold. And I wish it was snow and you would come home. Setting the table for 10, I wish it was 11. And everyone's laughing while I'm fighting tears in the kitchen. Lights on the tree, wrote a card that I mean, but I don't have the courage to send it. I wish I did better in this kind of weather. I wish for you when it gets cold. And I wish it was snow and I wish you would come home. Oh, what a cute song. Oh, guys, I hope that's helpful to you. Um, please take care of yourselves. Take care of your loved ones. Uh, tell your loved ones that you love them. <laughs> I love you so much. Make that, put that so in there. It makes a difference. And um, I, yeah, I will see you again soon. Go and check out your other placements. And yeah, take care. Bye.